next application is please do not change your jobs mid application. This is classed as a major change to your financial position. With the lenders, they want to see that there is a regular income coming through. Um, generally speaking, if you do have a probation with your pay as you go application, so long as it's a permanent ongoing within the same line of work, you can get around that um, because there are some lenders in Australia, basically I'm based in Melbourne, um, where they can work around with you in relation to probations. Um, the one that it gets a little bit trickier is where you've got casual employment or you're going from a pay-as-you-go um, industry into a um, self-employed arrangement. Okay, so that is a big, please don't do that, mid-loan application. The second one is taking out a credit card and maxing it out. Um, that does impact your loan borrowing capacities. So if you are in the marketplace, say in the next three to six months, and you're wanting to um, get some finance, as far as the home loan facility is concerned, that is a liability and it does impact your borrowing capacity. The third item that I say to people to avoid and avoid a massive mistake is accidentally forgetting to pay a bill, um, especially when it comes down to utility bills, gas bill, electricity bills, your phone bills. These places are quite quick to place that you have missed a payment or potentially having a default or some sort of degree. Um, if that hits your credit file, also that does impact the lender choice that you have available. It's not a very good look. Okay. Uh, the fourth mistake to avoid when you're going for a mortgage application is applying for a car loan. That also decreases your borrowing capacity by quite a fair bit. So um, if you're wanting to increase the chances of getting a pre-approval or an unconditional um, type of funding for a home loan facility, I strongly suggest that you hold off until you get your mortgage in place because then it just narrows down um, your potential long-term goal to get into the property market. The last one and the fifth one is to make sure that you keep your accounts nice and tidy. With the loan applications, and don't shoot the messenger, um, we do need to go through your bank statements. Also with your credit card facilities, personal loans, just to make sure that everything is all under control. And if you were taking out a loan facility, that it's not going to place your household into financial hardship post-settlement taking place. So as far as discretionary items are concerned, um, gambling, generally speaking, um, lenders don't favour that um, type of transactions going through. Um, the accidental overdrawn, late payments or any sort of red flag type of um, narrations on your bank statements can have a negative impact on your loan outcome. And sometimes if that is something that is apparent when I do the assessment for your facility, I will say, look, let's wait another three to six months for that to drop off. You can prove that you haven't got that sort of um, things going through your bank statements. And as we are coming through to the end of um, October and we are coming into the... Um, festive season for Melbourne Cup, um, do take into consideration that if you're going to be gambling, to make sure that it is responsible and it's not excessive. So if you want to broaden your options as far as lending is concerned, um, just make sure that we don't go a bit silly and a bit crazy on tap and go for um, sports bets or things like that because that can have a negative impact on your loan application as banks do tend to go through bank statements three to six months later on down the track. Hopefully you found that useful. Bye.